Leo wants to say hi. Now I have cat hair on my shirt. <laughs> Hey everyone, today on So Craftastic, we are testing out this really cool Pinterest DIY. It is a water candle that uses just a birthday candle wick and oil to light for three and a half hours. I got this one to work. Do not spill. Do not. I'm teaching you guys two different methods. One is more of a centerpiece for like a bridal shower, a wedding, or a fancy birthday party or dinner. And the other is this kind, which is an oil lit one. You can use this for whatever you want as well, but it's more of a room decor type thing. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'll link everything below that I've done recently, including my fluffy slime DIY and my scratch art DIY. Those will be below, and if you do want to join the family to be notified every single time I post a video, you can click the subscribe button below and also the bell icon. You gotta be in the loop. I usually post every Friday and Sunday, but things have been a little bit weird lately. I'm not exactly sure why. I think daylight saving time has kind of just put me in this weird funk. I've gotten a little bit behind. It just might be more of like a Jenna Marbles type thing. Friday slash Saturday, trying to get back on track. I'm sorry for that. Every Sunday, I post a breakfast journal. If if you enjoy DIYs, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. The goal is 10,000 likes to get this video spread around to the YouTubes. Now, without further ado, let's get on into making the water candles. I don't know what that was. An elephant, maybe? An elephant trunk. A water fountain. Let's go. The first thing you're going to need is some sort of glass container or vase, any shape or size. And you might want to make it look cool by putting some sort of decorative filler in the bottom such as marbles, rocks, or little tiny stones. Or even sand, but that's optional and so are these flowers. These are all things that you can choose to decorate your candle, but you don't have to necessarily have. But what you do absolutely need is some water. I have mine in a measuring glass to make it easy to pour since it has a nice little spout. As you can see here, I am dumping my clear marbles into the container and just filling it up a few inches. Then I am popping off some flowers from the stems and these are just fake flowers that I got from Michael's floral department and they were I think 60% off. I put a handful of those flowers in and I actually filled it up a little bit too high as you'll see soon. But after the flowers, I then took the water and just poured that in and almost all the way up to the top. I left about a half inch. This first design I'm showing you is the easiest and the one that requires the least amount of effort because I'm using a floating candle instead of the oil, which I'll show you later. And here's what I was talking about with the flowers. If you put too many in, then the floating candle doesn't have room to actually move around the top. So I just took a couple of those out and the candle was free to float around. Then I took a lighter and lit the candle, obviously. I think that this candle design would be great as a bridal shower or wedding reception centerpiece. It's really beautiful and elegant and it's super easy to make. But you could use it for really anything that you want such as a dinner party, birthday party, or just room decor. Now let's get on into the really fun candle. This time I'm using a shorter glass and these colorful marbles or stones that I picked up from the mosaic section. I poured those in almost halfway, then I took water and poured that in almost all the way to the top. Now you'll be needing a piece of thin plastic that you're going to cut into a circular shape that is smaller than the circumference of your glass. So basically it needs to fit inside. It can be from any type of food or product packaging. That's the best way to find this type of plastic. So I used a pair of scissors to cut away a little chunk and then I rounded it out a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect whatsoever because you're really not gonna see it. So once I had a shape that I was happy with, I found the middle of it, fairly middle, and I took an X-Acto blade and poked a little hole and then made a tiny X. 
This was my very first time creating an oil candle, so I really didn't know which type of wick to use. I probably could have read about that, but I picked up this pack of votive wicks thinking that maybe that would be a good idea. When you are using a wick, you want to cut it down so it's only a couple inches. You don't want it to be too long because there's really no use for that. So I cut off the metal base here and then I stuck the rest of the wick into the little X and made sure it was secure. After that, you're going to need some sort of oil. I'm using canola cooking oil. You can use another form of cooking oil, or you could also use some sort of lamp oil. I took a picture when I was at Michael's. Here's what it looks like, but I decided that I probably wouldn't use it much in the future, so I just went with the cooking oil. Here's some mesmerizing footage of lava lamp likeness. The oil looks really cool when you pour it into the water. <laughs> When you pour the oil, there's really no specific measurement. Just kind of look at my screen and do what I have done. I think anywhere between a third and a half inch layer of oil should be good. After that's been poured, take your plastic float -a bob contraption with the wick and place that on top. And all of a sudden I have lost my voice, what's going on? Then it's all set to light and I like to use the lighters that are super long so I can't burn my finger because I just am not coordinated that way. I don't know, I'm always afraid to use a regular lighter. Anyone else? This footage is sped up for your viewing pleasure, but it did only last about two and a half minutes and then it burnt out. So this kind of wick is definitely not one that you should use. But I wanted to include that type of information just in case you guys don't have to make the same mistake. So next I'm gonna try a birthday candle wick. And these are actually so much cheaper than candle making supplies anyway. So this is a better option all around. All you're gonna do is take the candle and carefully break it apart because believe it or not, the wick can actually tear from doing this. So you have to be kind of gentle when you're cracking the wax away. Then I poured a tiny bit of oil into a little container and I soaked the wick in that for about two minutes. Once that was complete, I just set up the little plastic circle the same exact way. I stuck the wick into the X and made sure it was standing up and was secure. Now it's time to light and I actually set a timer on my phone just as a guide to let you guys know how long it stayed lit and I lit this at about 33 seconds into the timer but my timer didn't even last through the entire video because I messed it up so we'll just keep track of the actual time that's on the phone. I started it around 6 36 p.m. which you can probably kind of make out on the phone. So I literally sat in front of this candle burning for 30 minutes and I seriously held my phone in front of the camera to make it known that I wasn't doing any type of sneaky editing or anything like that and I kept thinking that it was gonna burn out and I was all worried that I wouldn't catch it burning out, but this lasted for a very, very long time. And I actually ended up moving it out to the living room because I didn't want to just sit here and do nothing for all this time. I had other things that I was doing that evening, such as doing a P90X3 workout. Also, I was making a homemade dinner, which consisted of tacos. I moved the timer screen and accidentally turned it off, but it doesn't matter because like I said, it started at 6.36 p.m.-ish and it stopped around 10.07. It was just kind of fizzling out at this point, so I blew it out. That means that the candle burnt for just over three and a half hours, which I think is pretty amazing considering that the other wick only lasted for two and a half minutes. I believe that the difference is this wick was able to soak up the oil since there wasn't a wax coating around it. And I'm sure that there's other variables that could affect this as well, such as the type of oil you use, the amount of oil you use, and possibly how far the bottom of the wick sticks in if it touches too much water. I really don't know exactly the science behind this. I know that the wick has to absorb oil and has to stay soaking up that oil, but I don't know how to make it burn longer or if it can burn longer, if that makes sense. Very quickly, I wanna show you guys the third design that I came up with, and this is another oil candle, but you could definitely do the floating, uh, just the floating wax candle with this as well. This time I took some sand and I poured that into a small glass container, and then I had these little Finding Nemo figurines. I have Nemo and Dory. And I'm gonna add an extra element to this one, totally optional, but I'm going to add some blue food coloring to water. One drop was actually way too much. It looks really cool in here, but it was too dark. So to fix this, I just poured more water in, poured some of it out, poured more water in until it lightened up. 
And here you can see I finally got the blue shade light enough and I just poured it in slowly to the container and covered up the fishies, then put oil on top. So now it's like a little mini ocean scene or you could do a beach scene and you could do seashells, which would be really pretty. This one wasn't as successful because it only burnt for maybe 20 to 30 minutes. This may have something to do with the size of the container being smaller. I'm not really sure. And this footage of the wick being super long is just to show you guys that you indeed do not need the wick to be longer. It's not gonna do anything except burn away. So be sure to cut your wick down beforehand and you won't waste anything and you can use those on future candles or future burn sessions of the same candle. So the conversation of the video today is discussing Finding Nemo slash Finding Dory. And I actually just saw Finding Dory, I think a month or two ago. I rarely go see things in the theater, so I just waited till it came out on VOD and watched it from home. It was really, really good. And I felt that it gave Finding Nemo a run for its money. Like normally the sequels of a movie are just never as good and you never ever would classify them as better except in my case home alone 2 is better than the first one just because of that bird scene it makes me cry uh, <laughs> it's so touching but i love both home alones anyway getting back to the topic in the comment section below let's discuss the movies tell me if you like finding nemo or finding dory better i think that i like them both pretty much the same they're both hilarious and also very sentimental I, I like them both so let me know your thoughts on the movies can they compare is there just no way to top finding nemo and also let me know one or a few of your favorite quotes from the movies thank you all so much for watching i really hope that you enjoyed and if you did remember to give it a thumbs up also check out all the links in the description box below to my wreck this journal playlist and my most recent diys oh my gosh my legs are really sore right now because one, I did a couple workout videos this week and two, I am kneeling to try and be taller in the frame. <laughs> Otherwise, I would look like this. Wait, the chair doesn't go any higher. Maybe I should sit on a phone book or something. Not sure how I even thought of that because I don't think I've gotten a phone book in the mail in years. Is that a thing anymore? Also, if you want to follow me on social media, I will link my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Crafty Amino, and Snapchat all in the description box. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day and then I'll see you back here on Sunday for Wreck This Journal. Bye bye, <laughs> bye bye. Oh, my arms are sore too. Uh, God. Now it's time to eat some chicken tacos. Oh my goodness, I'm so hungry. I'm also really, really tired. I'll see you later. <laughs> bye.